Because you don't. It's a really heavy door. Above it is the Whitgift um, coat of arms and the Bishop's Mitre. And the small window right above it again is Whitgift's bedroom, the chamber. And uh, this is where he would stay when he, returned, when he came to Croydon. Um, he may also have stayed in Croydon Palace, but he did quite like to stay with his brethren in the um, arms houses. <coughs> Welcome to the common room. This is the room where the residents can come in and enjoy a bit of peace and quiet or a bit of company, whatever they prefer. At different times of the day, you might get only one or two people in here. Other times, you might have all of the residents. After chapel in the morning or on a Sunday morning, they'll come in here for teas and coffees and maybe a slice of cake. Um, so it is just a, literally a meeting room for their benefit. If you go back to John Wickett's time, you're talking about anywhere between 30, 40 people. The game stained glass, as in common with most glass of the period, was very expensive, hugely expensive. Um, but contributions were made by some of John Wickett's own friends and family, possibly by lead shots, grape shot as some people call it. Possibly just by a, a, a bullet of some nature. We don't know exactly when. All we know it was pre First World War. It could be by a resident who took umbrage at somebody else, by with another resident, may out of an argument with a warden. So an unusual sort of thing, cut off the edge. Um, but uh, it's, it's, an, it's another little quirk. <laughs> Clocks at the time were very precious. Now the observant among you will see that it only has one hand. Um, and that is mainly not unusual for the time at all. Um, they couldn't be that accurate with minutes. It's been renovated over the years. It's, it's still the workings, the original workings are up there, but it's had to have had renovation. And above it is the is the bell tower. Now, um, well, when I welcomed you a moment ago, I said the Alan's houses are fine. They are correctly known as the um, Alan's Hospital of the Holy Trinity. Um, it's the Hospital of the Holy Trinity. But uh, for ease of purpose, we well, we'll refer to them as the Alan's houses. They were founded in 1596 by the then Archbishop of Canterbury, John Whitgift. This would have been painted um, towards the end of his life. He lived when he was 74, so he was uh, you know, a well, a well into old age for the time. Um, and he actually died in 1604 on the 29th of February. He would have been the, at the Queen's bedside when she died just about a year beforehand in 16, January 1603 um, and he, he was specifically asked for by the Queen. The bricks were made locally, they were made both in the materials sourced from Duffers Hill and Hayden Park. Hayden Park, where Wigger School is now, interestingly enough. Um, the Flintworth from Addington, the Addington Hills. Uh, reminiscent, really, and reminder of when the sea was encroaching the land. Um, the tiles, 
the roof tiles, these ones were replaced over a period of time. After the 3945 war. So you just see the, again, the shapes with desert in an I, IW. Again, Johannes Wittgen, John Wittgen. Again, very common to the period, like a, a signature.